Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Andy and you're watching the Opinionated Reefer YouTube channel. So today I thought I'd just make a quick video on one of these things, the HANA Salinity Checker. Now, there's been a lot of debate about these devices. Some people love them, some people hate them. I'm definitely in the, the love category. I think these are one of the most handy devices uh, that you can get for your reef tank. Um, a lot of the problems arise due to people not calibrating it properly. So I thought I'd just make this video to show you how I actually go about calibrating it in a way that ensures that I get the most accurate uh, readings possible. So the first thing I do is thoroughly rinse the salinity checker in RO water. This removes any salt residue from the device which could potentially pollute the calibration fluid and affect the accuracy of your calibration. What you then want to do is thoroughly dry the device. You want to make sure that you get into every nook and cranny and get rid of any drops of RO water that could potentially dilute your calibration fluid, which again would affect the accuracy of your calibration. The next step isn't really required because the device has built-in temperature compensation but I just like to float the calibration fluid in my sump to get it to the same temperature as the water that I'm going to be testing. I then leave the device to dry for a few hours. Many hours later. So now I'll just show you the actual calibration procedure itself. What you need to do is wait until the device settles. As you can see, it takes a few seconds and you don't want to actually press that calibration uh, button until you're sure it's, it's not going to move any further. Once you're happy, go ahead and press that calibration button. It'll take a few seconds to actually calibrate the device and store the results. In an ideal world, you'd want to calibrate this device every single time you use it, but I can see that getting laborious pretty quickly, not to mention expensive, so once a month is good enough for me. The device is now ready to use and you can go ahead and test your salinity. Once again, the reading actually takes a few seconds to settle. I'm looking for 35 parts per thousand and it's settled on 35.3 that's close enough for me. So I hope you find this useful guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Adios.